Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about tuples and lists and opinions. Well, hopefully, I'll be able to back them up with facts, and then you'll believe me. Uh, we're talking about why I tend to prefer when equivalent tuples over lists in Python. Uh, and it's basically three reasons. I'm going to start with three reasons, so that I mean, you can just not watch the rest of the video, but <laughs> you're not going to do that, right? Um, one, they're faster. Well, actually, we'll start with smaller. They're smaller first. Tuples are smaller than lists. They tend to be faster. We're going to show kind of two reasons. One, already because they're smaller. And I think the third is maybe the most important, which is that tuples are immutable. And so they often lead to better code structure. Uh, and you can reason about stuff a little bit better. Um, but anyway, let's show off the size first. I'm going to be using of, which isn't a great measurement of size. But in this case, it's good enough to show the difference that I'm talking about here. So let's first start with our base cases here, uh, an empty list and an empty tuple. Oops, I forgot an assignment. There we go. And we're going to import the sys module. Sys has a sys.get size of, and I should probably make a video about why this is not, <laughs> not a great tool in most cases. And even if you know, you're know using PyPy, for example, it's just going to refuse to compute a size here. Um, but this gives you a rough estimate of the size of the container that you're dealing with. Um, and in this case, you'll notice that the list has significantly more size than the tuple. Uh, and if we make a bigger list, so let's say one, two, three, and a bigger tuple, uh, you'll see that the size increases roughly proportionally. So it's it's about you know twelve-ish bytes different, sixteen here. Um, but basically, lists are going to be larger than a tuple, and this is because they are mutable. They have additional bookkeeping to figure out what their capacity is and what their current length is. And as you append things to them, they're going to grow or, well, I don't think they ever shrink in Python, but they, they will grow as you add things to them. Um, and so they, they tend to have a little bit more bookkeeping in order to keep track of their size. Uh, let's talk about speed next. So first off, because lists have to have a little bit more memory, they tend to be a little bit slower just to create, but they're going to be even slower if you're using them in functions. And let me just show that off really quickly. Uh, because tuples are immutable, they have the advantage in that they can be stored directly in the code object. It like x equals one, two, three, return x one. I don't know, this is a really bad example. Um, but it will hopefully demonstrate what I'm talking about. And hopefully it doesn't, I don't think Python will optimize this, so we'll be fine. Um, and if we use the disassembler, which I did a video on before, you'll see in G, um, oh, we actually got the fast version here. Okay, so this is a, this is a bad example of what I'm talking about, but you'll notice here that um, it actually optimized this list build to first load a tuple, then build the list from the tuple. Well, actually build the list first, load the tuple, and then extend the list from the tuple. So you'll see that building a list actually just cheated and bypassed this directly by using a tuple. If we look at our other version, uh, the one with just a tuple, you'll notice that it loads the tuple directly. We don't have to do any list building. Uh, we already have the object. Because it's immutable, we can store it directly in the code object. So we have like a really nice advantage here. This optimization, I think, is actually relatively new. I think in older Python versions, it would actually load const 1, list append 1, load const 2, list append 2, load const 3, list append 3. And so you'd kind of have a, a linear overhead to having a list literal in your code. Um, so I think this is a nice little optimization. I forgot about this. Uh, but still, even with this optimization, it's going to be faster to have a tuple because you already have the instance available. You don't have to convert it into a list uh in order to use it you've you've you know you pull it out of the code object it already exists nice um the last thing that i want to talk about is immutability uh and this one is less easy to demonstrate other than oh you can't append stuff to a tuple it's more of kind of a theoretical approach to problem solving in that if you have data that cannot be changed you can reason it about it a lot better as it flows through your program uh, this is why <laughs> hope and pray one day for an immutable dictionary in Python but, uh, that has good library support and isn't just thrown together on PyPI. Um, but 
we don't have that such such a thing unfortunately but anyway um tuples are nice because you you can reason about them you know that they're not going to change throughout your program you can use them as module constants and know that something isn't going to come and accidentally add a value to it uh your program will error if you attempt to mutate them in a way that doesn't make sense well i mean if you mutate them at all <laughs> there are ways to mutate tuples but not not really in your python code uh, but anyway, those are my three advantages, smaller, faster, and you can't mutate them. Uh, so that's why in places where they're equivalent, I try to prefer tuples. Uh, I guess I should give you one example of where this comes up a lot, which is uh, subprocess commands. So you'll often see, you know, check call, echo. I mean, echo is a bad <laughs> example in, um, in Python because you would just, um, I wrote the word Python, uh, is a bad example in Python because you would just use print, but I don't know, we'll use echo here to show this. So I, I often see subprocess commands using uh, square brackets, the lists here, uh, whereas the tuple is going to be a little bit more efficient here because it's not going to have to convert it to a list and it can just do all the things that I said before. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.